here. And again, uh, a little thin, so they're going to have to make sure nobody gets hurt. Here's a high end over end kick taken by Landon Hayline. An up man at the 28 brings it to the middle of the field, 35, 40, 45, and gets brought down at the 49 yard line by uh, uh, Pazina's Jeremiah Rodland. Pistol so formation, strong start. right set on first and 10. And here's the snap. The give goes to Colton Cox off the right tackle. He's got room. He's past the 40, 35, 30, just like last year. First play from scrimmage, and Colton Cox takes it 51 mm -hmm. yards for a score. Ron Colley scored on scrimmage. their first offense. Takes it 51 yards for a score. Cox on now for the point after kick, and the snap is a good one. Ball is down with plenty of leg, and it is up, and it is no good at the 40-yard line. And Mog will approach. Here's a booming kick. That's going to be taken by Jared Appenay back at the five-yard line. Loses. Now he'll pick it up and comes to the left hash, 10-yard line, and uh, fights for a couple extra yards there. Will get brought down at the 13. Ron Colley says they have the football, but I think Appenay will be blown down on the, the quarterback. A 130-pound uh, pound freshman will set the running backs in a moment, but uh, Campbell will take the snap and will roll to his right, puts up a pass and throws it incomplete, looking for uh, Matthew German down on the field. Side of the line. Line. And here is a uh, flag and too much time delay of game whistled here against the Wombadee as they took a long time to get that play in from the, the side. stick with the same play so they get right into formation and here's the snap and Campbell looking to throw is going to float one up and right there is Logan Karst. He'll come away with the uh, catch. Lands hard on the small of his back. Comes up with the pick at the 20 yard line but it looks like one of those the way he landed he's probably got the wind knocked out of the slot yeah, near side. Two receivers right and now Andero will go in motion out of the back. Backfield. Lundquist back to throw. We'll swing it out to Andera. He's got it at the 20 and gets tripped mm -hmm. up, brought down, and the ball is loose. But they will say ground caused the fumble. It's a, a five-yard pass play. And again, Andera had one man to beat. A nice mm -hmm. job over there by Jared Appenay to make that Summers in the slot on the far side. Now Lundquist will take the short shotgun snap. Looks to throw. Looks for Everson over the middle. Had him splitting defenders, but the pass led Third a little too and far ten. and completed. Pistol formation in motion. Cox to the far sideline. And here is the snap. Lundquist will roll to his right. We'll put it up in the air complete to Cox at the seven-yard line. He will turn up field and will get in for the score. A 15-yard pass play from Lundquist to Colton Cox. And again, Colton, when he's near the end zone, has such a good nose for it. And it takes from it in strong. Logan, oh, yeah. or the hold from Logan Cars. This time the kick up. Go. And it is good. And so the Cav Cavaliers will tack on seven. With 10.38 and trying to play. Their darndest, but uh, Ron Colley, just a little too much firepower here in the early going. Austin Mogg will boot it away. Here's the end over end kick, which will bounce, and that'll be picked up by Appenay at the 12 yard line. Brings it to the 20 on his feet, out to the 25, fighting for yards, and they'll measure his forward progress at the 25 yard line. Moment. Pistol set on first and 10. Deion Campbell will take the snap, and here is uh, the first and 15. Dead. Here Campbell will take the snap and a play action pass. He's going to put it up over the middle. Has a receiver complete. That is Terrell Cook on the far sideline. He's got a first down out to the 39, make it the 40 yard line a 20-yard pass play and a, uh, a nice just little swing pass with Cook wide open First on the far side. For Tios Bezina at their own 40-yard line. And here is the snap, and they're going to give it off in the middle. That is to Gabe Akipa, who gets stood up right at the line of scrimmage to the physicality, and, and that just takes experience. Second and 12. Here's a play-action pass. Campbell rolling right will put it out into the hands of German, who was open, and then had it pop out as he was looking to make a play before he brought it all the way in. Anthony Andera there with the coverage, and it'll bring up third and 12 QB's for the Lundquist. Third and 12. Pistol set once again. Campbell will take the snap and will drop back to throw. There's a big rush. Musel got to him, and Campbell has to throw it away, but a good rush as Morgan Musel got there uh, before really his blocker could even get a hand on it. Very deep to await mm -hmm. the snap. Braden Summers will get the kick, a high snap, and here's a nice kick, and Summers will be able to return it, fields it at the 35, will slip a tackle at the 37, now cuts back against the grain, and he's got room. 45-50, oh 45-40, foot race, and he is gone. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, Braden Summers in for the touchdown uh, <laughs> On a 65-yard punt return. Boy, he, he was starting off to the right and didn't didn't like what he saw. And boy, when he came back to the left, he had a, a squadron there helping him. He he wasn't going to get touched all the way to the end zone. And and again, Logan Karst will hold. Snap is a good one. Ball is down. Kick is up. And that one is good. And All so right. with 9 row. 9.05 to go, first <laughs> quarter. Ron Colley, 20. Teos Pazina, nothing. Back to Swisher Field in 30 seconds. 
And Mog will approach it. It's a short end over end kick. This will be taken by an up man. That's Terrell Cook at the uh, 35, 25 yard line. Goes to the far sideline and will get wrestled down at the 27. Went more east west than north south, and uh, that didn't work out so well. Dreams come true. Back at Swisher Field, first and 10, Tio Spazina looking to throw on first down, and the pass over on the far sideline defended well, and it looked like Logan Karst was footsteps away from his second pick, but I think he caught that one out of bounds. So and here is the snap. Campbell will roll right, and again, a big rush, and boy, he got drilled when he let go and had a receiver near side. That was uh, Terrell Fallis, who uh, just could not extend out Why enough. Side Shotgun formation for the Wombity, and Campbell with the a little bit of time here. Now it's going to get forced from the pocket. Nowhere to go, and he's going to get sacked as Matt Schlosser runs him down back at the 19-yard line. A loss of about eight on the play, and again, credit the secondary that mm -hmm. time. Campbell had nowhere to throw About the nine-yard line. And we'll see if Ron Colley brings it a little bit here. They're going to fire a rush up. German will get off a low line drive kick. Summers will watch it bounce and will pick it up. And boy, uh, steps out of a tackle. He's past midfield now. 45, 40, 35. He's gone again. 20 yard line. One man to beat. 10, 5. He'll outstep it. And Braden Summers has his second punt return of the night. Mm. This one about 48 yards in a dangerous field as it bounced and he got hit immediately but uh, bounced off it and made it pay off. Yeah, this one say. is off to the left, I believe. Oh, nope, nope, that one's good. I thought I saw that one go left and that yeah. beginning that can always uh, cause injuries. You want to keep playing hard. Austin mm -hmm. Mogg will boot it away, and here's the end over end kick. This one will be taken by their deep man, number 14, Nash Heminger. And Heminger again came to the near side, and his indecision cost him as he runs backwards and gets buried at the five. And coming now for Tio so Tio at their own five yard line. And Deion Campbell will take the pass, fires away from the end zone, looking deep downfield, and that one will go incomplete, intended for Let's Jared Appenet. Pistol formation, and Campbell takes the snap, fires it, and looks downfield. Looked like he had Terrell Cook over there, and Cook kind of tripped up as mm -hmm. he was uh, getting close. It looked like that uh, that was a viable option, and Cook, Cook just went down and went for a two-yard loss. Third and ten, and here comes the snap and a pressure in the end zone, and Campbell is buried in the end zone. This one's going to roll out the back, and we got a safety here. The way it looks, the officials are going to get together and talk about it, but that's... The ball gets popped loose as Campbell hit, and uh, well, the only other thing they could do is an incomplete pass. But I don't think he was. Yeah, yeah, so Campbell is going to drop the end deep, and it looks like Tio Spazina on the free kick here is going to punt it away. Matthew German uh, is the punter, and he'll get the free kick back at the 20-yard line after the Ron Colley safety. Ooh. Here's a nice high kick, and that will be taken by Colton Cox right at midfield. Comes to the near hash, turns it 45-40, flag on the field 35-30. Cox will cut it back upfield, stays on his feet, and is wrestled down at the 19-yard line, but a flag back at the 37. Mm -hmm. It's out here First for now. Zach Lundquist out of the shotgun set for receivers. And Dara in the backfield on the right hip. And Lundquist looks to throw. Fires it. Little hook and oh. lateral. And they give it off to a big man. Matt Schlosser, the center, gets the lateral back. And he throws an elbow and is still on his feet. And Schlosser finally run out at the 35. Well, if I get the ball, dang it, I'm going to make something happen. And Schlosser um, gets some extra yards out of it. Oh, man, that, that's great. Uh, Coach Dosh, that's that's great. Uh, put that play in. Let the big guy have a little fun. And, boy, he uh, he inflicted some punishment there, too. He did. That play goes for 21 First yards. First and 10 at the 26-yard line. Strong left. Here's a play action pass. Lundquist looks to throw, puts it downfield, and that one Ooh. oh should have been picked off as uh, Duran LaCroix was back there. The receiver deep, Colton Cox, had space on it, but uh, Zach didn't get the ball there. The player, LaCroix yeah. was the interference, interference in, in there that kind of gets in your line of sight. Second and 10. Here's the pitch back to Cox, who's got room around the left corner, 20-yard line, 15-10, and he is in for the score. Oh. Colton Cox, third TD run of the night from 26 yards. His second TD run of the night, had. third score of the night for Colton. And now he's on for the point after kick. Snap is down, and the kick is up. And that is good. And so it's 6.40. To and uh, Apane, back deep to receive, will get the uh, angled kick. And this one will be, uh, that's oh. Matthew German. He's going to let it go. That is a free ball. And that is a Ron Colley. Ron Colley's got a, oh, they call no. it a touchback because it did go into the it end did. zone. It touched the end line. Wow. And that's a dead ball, right? It's but a dead he, ball then. He made, uh, ew, that was a critical. 
critical thing. It could have been a very critical well, error First and 10 at their own 20-yard line as uh, they'll get up under center. Power eye formation, and the new quarterback is uh, Matt German, and he's going to complete the swing pass out to the 26-yard uh, line, a gain of six, as uh, that one will go to number under five. Center, Terrell formation. Cook, the keeper is the tailback. And I believe the fullback is uh, Calvin Max. And now here's a little swing pass intended out on the flat for uh, and German will get back Terrell. under center. And here is uh, a long snap count. German will take it and will roll to the left. And he really runs out of room, and he's going to get brought down for a big loss. Here's a flag at the end. That may be a horse collar tackle on the Cavaliers. We'll see. It uh, will be the uh, incidental face mask, so just a five-yard penalty. Third and nine for Tios Pazina, and German takes a shot as he lets go. Mm -hmm. Intended for Cook again. And, that and the snap is a good one. Here's a low line drive kick uh, angled off to the side, and then it takes a Ron Colley bounce and will go out of bounds at the 49-yard line. He's actually had some pretty good punts. Yeah, he really has. Yeah, get in the pistol formation, four receiver set, and Dara behind him in the backfield. And here is the snap and the give straight up the gut, and Dara has some room and trips up. It looked like he might have turned an ankle as he got into the secondary, and I think Anthony might be a little ticked at himself. He'll get about six yards on that carry, but he had a lot more there. Will bunch mm -hmm. it up near side. And again, Lundquist out of the shotgun on second and four. Here is the play-action pass over the middle, complete to Everson at the 30. He's at the 25-20 and gets brought down at the 18-yard line. A trick up. near side and a tight end up on the line here. And now here's the swing pass, complete near side to Logan Karst. He gets a block. He's at the 10-yard line, puts the head down, will get ahead, and will be run out of bounds at the 4-yard line. A 16-yard pass play. From uh, Zach Lundquist to Logan Karst For sure. that time. Bunch and receivers right. A wide near side is uh, Karst in a little slant route to him in the end zone. is a four-yard touchdown pass. Zach Lundquist finds Logan Karst on the little slant route inside. And Karst will haul it in. And the Cavaliers on the Aberdeen Chrysler Drive summary take it 51 yards this time and increase the lead to 42 After kick is on, Logan Karst will hold. Colton Cox will kick it. And that one is up and good. And so <laughs> last year's uh, first quarter, they have come out here and dominated this one. Austin Mogg will kick this one away. And the high end over end kick taken by Terrell Cook at the 17-yard line. He'll cut over to the far hash. Brings it past the 20 and uh, brought down there. And the ball pops loose, but he is Back down by out contact. Here. High formation and wing backs. And now uh, uh, we've got a flag from the back judge or from the uh, Deep official, the referee, and I think an illegal shift there is called against Tio Spazina. Tio 18-yard line. Matt German up under center will take the snap. Three-step drop, looks to throw, and the play broken up by Landon at their own 18-yard line. And back in at quarterback is uh, Deion Campbell. They tried a, a direct snap to the man in motion, Terrell Cook, and that didn't fool up the Cavaliers. Colton Cox comes in and uh, brings him down as he takes the snap, and now here's a late penalty. Uh, Terrell Cook really out of frustration at the end of that play spikes the ball and it goes away from the official and so pistol uh, formation and here comes the snap and a big rush is on and the ball comes downfield up there intended for Jared Appene downfield and back there Eric Holzer providing the coverage and uh, free safety help from Braden Summers. Holzer had him covered well and mm -hmm. just got a hand in the way of Appene. A, a well thrown ball. Goal. Oh you bet that And the snap is a good one. There's a flag from the side judge. This one angles off. Holzer will take it at the 40-yard line. Cuts right and now will get brought down for no gain on the carry on the return. At that time, a little indecision oh, cost him. Three receivers right, and Traphagen will get off the line to the near side. And there, I believe, still in the backfield. Lundquist looking to throw, and he's going to get there sacked. Go. Boy, there's a good rush Team by uh, Tios. Yeah. go two receivers each side of the line. And uh, another flag will blow this one dead and might have a procedure call here coming against the, the captain. Same formation here, pistol formation, as uh, Lundquist will take the snap, does a complete 360, hands it off to Andera, who got some room into TZ territory at the 40-yard line. They'll be brought down there as he gets 12 yards back, all the penalty yardage on that and carry. Yes, we'll see some other kids. I formation, Lundquist up under center, and the pitch will come back to Colton Cox. Sweep play right, and he's tripped up. The initial hit made there by uh, Brandon Cole. Near side, Trap Hagen, on. and Cox will go wide right. And now in motion. 
motion out of the backfield is uh, Andera, and they're going to run a little reverse play. It's a shovel pass to Hayline. He's got room, and he is going to take it in for the score, but there is a flag back at the line of scrimmage. It and starts we'll with a snap. Oh. Plenty of leg. Oh, did he ever. <laughs> <laughs> plenty of leg. That was uh, that was Blair Walshish. Yeah. But a, well. a flag flies from the line, and you got to think that one's going to come back. Encroachment on TZ. Oh, so Colin Hills and Digger will try the point after again. Snap high. Hillsy's kick is <laughs> not as good as the first as one. <laughs> Mode up until at least halftime. Austin Mogg has a teed at the 40, and here comes the end over end kick, and that will be taken over on the far hash by number 11. That is Tyrell Fallis, and Fallis will cut it back up the middle, has some room, and gets out to the 34 yard line. Get a nice job, ran into mm -hmm. a, a crowd, bounced it out, and gets about eight on extra yards. Yeah, you know, I just. Here is an empty backfield. The pass will come, or the snap to German. They'll swing it out, and the pass is incomplete. Intended over there for uh, Dion oh, Campbell. No, oh, he got it. Was a lateral. They they're, do call they're it, lateral, it a lateral, and they're going to call it a fumble then. Uh, well, a lateral pass, and then he fumbled Full it. Back, mm -hmm. and Alex Summers, the tailback, wide near side is Eric Holzer. Wide right, I believe, is Grant Gunderson. And Haug will get up under center on first down. And here is the snap and the give to Alex Summers off the right tackle. He will get down of a yard or so to about well, first 21. Quarter, right. and once again with wide outs each side. Haug under center will take the snap and will pitch it back to Summers. And he will get buried in the backfield. Good surge there by, again, number 50. Yeah, right here, uh, third and 12 for Ron Colley. Hey, the pitch will come back to Alex Summers. He's got room off left side, turns it up, but Tio Spazina there covers up Trav well. Hagen, and near side. And there is a delay of game penalty. Again, that just took too long to get that play Near called. Side. Feed the wide left, and here's the snap. As Haug looks to throw, he'll roll to his right. And now has to put it up in the air. He's got a receiver downfield, Tyler Traphagen there. Oh. But Haug, it looked like he's going to have the pass picked off uh, by Jared Appen, a wide far side and a strong left formation. Here is the snap low. And he, uh, Campbell has to run out of the end zone, fires it up, and overthrows his intended receiver Austin Shepard. It'll be second Wide and ten. Side of the line. And the snap will come back to Campbell on the ground. It's loose and the ball still being battled for underneath. And the Cavaliers do have it. Campbell never got that snap cleanly. Uh, Everson in there along with Trap Hagen. And Haug will take the snap and they're going to run it strong right. And Haug will turn it upfield. He'll get in for the score. Bailey Haug a three yard touchdown run. And the Cavaliers We'll get on the board here. And so the uh, hold again will come from Karst. Snap is a good one. Ball is down, and the straight up kick is going to be just short. Oh. As Schlosser's kick doesn't make it there, but a 55 0 Cavalier lead now with 10.30 to play first and half. Here is the kick. End over end taken over on the near hash by number 11. That is Fallis. He'll bring it up the sideline past the 20 yard line. Stood up at the 22, and that will be where he'll's uh, forward progress. First and 10 for Tios Pizina. Deion Campbell in at the quarterback spot, and he's going to pitch it back right, and that will go to Akipa, who's got room around the corner and he's got some room past the 40, 45, or 35, 40 yard line and right out of bounds at the 41. Wide out to each side, pistol formation. Cook in motion to the far side. He'll take the snap, but uh, near side is Shepard we'll again. Cook in motion and this time the snap gets bobbled around. Nobody has it and it uh, looked like they were going to try that direct snap again to Cook and Ron Colley will recover the fumble. That Hagen goes wide left. Uh, formation tight ends up on the line and here is the pitch. Sweet play for Alex Summers trying to turn the corner. Summers will not get there as he has stopped for a loss. Near side. Summers, the fullback. Featherhuff, or Featherhuff, the fullback. And now here's confusion in the backfield as Hag went to hand it off and uh, nobody wanted the football. Both Featherhuff and Summers come into the line. Neither took the ball and Hag has to eat it and is thrown for a loss Again, of about three. up on the line and an eye formation behind Hag. Here's the pitch. And they'll run the reverse play and they've got some room. That is number 30, Grant Gunderson with room and he's going to take it to the house. Gunderson, a 33-yard reverse for the score. You know, and on that particular play, your defensive end to that side, he's got to stay home, and he was trying to pursue and didn't stay home, and that, that was kicked this way in, or attempt to at any rate. Snap is 
a good one, and there's distance on it, and it is good. All right. Manu gets it through, and that'll make the lead 62-0 Cavaliers after the Grant Gunderson 33-yard run. <laughs> 62 zip, Ron Colley, we're back to Swisher Field in 30 Predators seconds. Tied at seven. In the early going there, that was an 8 o'clock kickoff. Here's Austin Moggs' kick, very high, very short, taken by an up man, and wisely he will fall on it at the 31-yard line. And he listened to his coaches in practice. That was uh, Weston Hill, yeah, and he <laughs> fell like he was hit. At any rate, a tie score. Now Whoa. here's the snap over the head of the quarterback, Deion Campbell. He's going to run it down and get buried back at the 10-yard line. Campbell will take a snap as TZ huddles it up quickly, and Campbell will try to scramble away from trouble and gets buried out of bounds, and they're going to get a late hit call there on the Cavaliers, I believe, for the uh, yeah. Wambadi, and Campbell will take the snap again, getting a rush, has to force it up, and, 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 and uh, Tio Spazina scrambling around, they're going to go for it here, and again, why not, with 425 to play, down 62 zip, and the Snap will come back to Campbell, and he's going to lose control of it. Ball is down, and the Cavaliers will recover it at the five-yard line. Austin Job is going to get to the ball and uh, just kind of lost his footing. I think he was a little disgusted. He didn't pick it up and keep quarter, running. But mm -hmm. Bailey Hag under center, eye formation. And here is the give to the fullback. That's Featherhuff, who gets past the five-yard line. A gain of about two. Wide outs to each side. And here is the snap again. Featherhuff, quick hitter inside, and he's going to go in for the score. Five-yard touchdown run from Michael Featherhuff. Come from the leg of Austin Mogg, who's done a lot of the kickoffs here tonight. And Mogg will put the ball up and will put it through. There you go. And a 69-0 Ron Colley lead now. That will come their way. Two off once. We'll try yeah. it again. Mogg approaches, and here's the kick. And that will be taken at the 20-yard line. That'll take a Ron Colley bounce, and that one will be covered up by uh, Gabe Akipa at the 20. First and 10, Teo Spazina. Shotgun snap, and Campbell looking to throw. will air it up. Downfield deep oh. for Apine, who had the sideline route open, but the ball kind of hung up, and he had to wait for Cook. it to we'll come to the near side. Pistol formation, and here is the snap. Delayed blitz, and here is the ball. Again, hangs up, and this one, well is incomplete. It looked like uh, German had a chance at it, and then it looked like uh, Eric Holzer three times was in the final minute and a half here, but I guess stranger things have happened. Here's a little swing pass complete to Austin Shepard. He's got some sideline room. A flag over on the sideline as this one carries out of bounds. For these youngsters for Ron Colley to try to make a stop here on fourth down. Wombody out of the pistol will snap it with a minute to go, and German, the quarterback, will put it up and airs it downfield intended. Wide near side comes Colton Cox back in the game, I believe, as a wide out. Nope, that's number 32, excuse me. And here's a run up the middle, and this one could be off to the races as uh, Alex Summers has room. We'll take it down inside the 10-yard line, fighting, gets down to the 5, and will be whistled down at the 4-yard line, a gain of 30 yards for Alex Summers, and he gets stopped short of the end zone, and that will be your football game. And, uh, that is and you, Ryan. my good man, yeah. Scott. <laughs> nice evening.